Hey, uh... <laughs> San Holmes needs $30 a day to keep the apartment he shares with two others. Love, peace, and happiness. <laughs> He's at 15th and Central in Plano during noon rush. All right, man, thank you. God bless. Some days you get, get a low break, some days you get a good break. We had to break the news to him that Plano is cracking down on people in the roadways, especially to solicit. For people to just stand around uh, on medians, on sidewalks, at intersections, is, is inherently dangerous, and uh, so, and, and especially when they step into the roadway. Police Chief Ed Drain says they're starting to install these pedestrian safety signs at the city's 25 busiest intersections. If they're moving, then you don't go in the street. That's, that's common sense. <laughs> Zan isn't convinced, but the reality is there have been too many close calls of people getting hit and drivers getting distracted. At least I'm not out here robbing and stealing, you know. Zan says he lost his wife a year ago. It's been a downward spiral since. Some of them don't even look this way, you know. On a good day, he'll collect $100. It is what it is. It's a very giving community. Uh, we just don't think that giving at intersections is the best way to help those in need. All right. The city advises people give to the local community groups who actively help those like Zan who are in need. Oh, boy. For this new enforcement, officers will give warnings, then citations to the people in the roadway. It feels good to, to, to see people every day, you know. Zan does ultimately understand. That's all. Others have to understand, too. Helping like this may also be hurting. All right, sir. Thank you. God bless you. In Plano, I'm Joe Panicker.